you guys go out, who typically pays for the dates? He does. I pay for the dates. Any special occasions where you cover the bill? Like, ra it's, it's random. It's like very random. Like, that means never. <laughs> I mean, typically we'll let her like, buy something small, yeah. like maybe like a sandwich at Starbucks or something, but like 99% of the time I always cover the bill. It's never a question. You guys live together? Yes, we do. Does he cover most of the bills? All of them. All of them. What else do you bring to the table? Um, I hate this question. Like, he always asks me this, and I hate this question. Well, realistically, what do you think? I mean, I think I'm very nurturing to him. I provide, like, I do the laundry. I make sure, like, I clean the room, the house. Um, I, I provide, like, unconditional love. Do you think if it was all the way around that you'd even be with him? You had to take on his role, and he took on yours. No. Why not? Because I like my man to lead. I like my man to be the alpha. I like to be submissive to my man, and I feel like I can't be that way if I'm the one lead. I feel as though we need to stop asking the question, what do you bring to the table, and start asking the question, what have you done to earn the right for me to take care of you? I don't mind paying all the bills in my household because... I have a family. I'm the king of my family. I'm the king of my castle. Now, my wife do have her separate expenses that she take care of, and that's on her. But my wife have earned the right for me to do the shit that I do now. Because at one point in time, I was moving around here like a bum, and my wife was holding it down. So ask your girl that, bro. What have you done to earn the right for me to do this for you? Give me pussy is not enough. Yo, why his lip look like that? Oh! Hey, man. Y'all boys need to stop going down on these hoes, dog. There is no real reason to tell a man you have children unless you plan on a long-term relationship with him in the future. And he's already in love with you. He won't care. Translating. I have finished translation. Having a child will make finding a partner difficult. So, instead of being honest with the male you wish to be with, I feel trapping him through giving selective information about yourself is perfect. By holding back the full scope of your lifestyle and waiting for your bond to connect, it will force the male to conform to your life. As now that you have emotionally manipulated him into being a forced stepfather without giving him the choice to stay or go, I just want to know, why would you put your child through that? Like, forget manipulating a man and trapping him, right? Why would you put your, why would you want to put your child in that situation? Now, I'm talking as somebody who has had step-parents. You got to make sure you choose the right person because that can have a, a lifelong psychological effect on your child. And I'm speaking from experience. Every time I see this lady, she be saying some dumb shit. Every time I see her, she be saying some dumb shit. I hope y'all don't be taking her serious. Oh my god, Nicole. That's only the first dive of the day. The jellyfish got me. Actually, got stuck in between my boobs. I can't show you that. My nipple is burning so bad. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't get my neck. Yeah. I'm just glad it doesn't burn anymore. Oh my gosh, look at that. <sighs> Look at this. This is exactly why I got stung. Oh my gosh, look. Two there. Two. Now, I don't know if Nicole was showing us the, the, the jellyfish stung, stung, stinging. Uh, I can't even speak. I don't know if Nicole was showing us the jellyfish kiss or uh, she was trying to show us that um, them girls is real. Well, I don't think them girls is real. But um, she was trying to show us that them girls was out there. I had to pull my, my Polo Santos because them girls was out there now.
Nicole. Them girls was definitely out there. Whew. I put Nair in his shampoo. That's not funny. That's not funny, dog. <sighs> you were just the sickest. <laughs> that is bad. Not him trying to reattach his dress. <laughs> they just start falling. God, shake, shake your head, please, shake your head. <laughs> oh my God. There's one that's not even attached. It's just on top of your head. Is she white? She's white. Oh. <laughs> I know. I put Nair in his shampoo. Bro. Um. This man is in a abusive relationship and he don't even realize it that is an abusive relationship she put near in his shampoo some of y'all may be sleeping under a rock near is what women use on their legs when they want to wear short dresses and make sure that their legs look smooth think about that now Um, bro, the recoil on that shit is great. Hold on, let, let's finish looking at the video first, Chris. <laughs> Um, that, that thing looked like it, it melt off the bone, y'all. That, you know, you, you, uh, I don't even eat pork, but you know when you put some, some, uh, some ribs in the, uh, you put some ribs, I can't even fucking speak. Hey man, it's the end of the video. That's crazy. Who sent me this link? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. All right, y'all, that's the end of the video, dog. Um.